Hello and welcome to Channels Book Club. I'm Olakunle Kasumu. Did you know that this is the season of literary and creative arts festivals and events in Nigeria? I mean, it's a really jam-packed season. Between now and the middle of November, the Ake Book and Art Festival, the Lagos Book and Art Festival, the Lagos International Poetry Festival, the Nigeria Prize for Literature Award, the Kuramo Writers Prize Award, and other such events will be hosted. You might want to do an online search to find out more about these events and try to attend the ones you can. One of the events coming up is the International Convention of the Association of Nigerian Authors, ANA. If you are an author in Nigeria or you plan to be one, you should know about ANA. Think about the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, for accountants, or the Nigeria Bar Association for Lawyers. ANA is the equivalent for authors in Nigeria and it has been active for 37 years since it was first established with the legendary Chinua Achebe as its first president. Joining us today is Adeyemi Adebi, the chairman of the Lagos chapter of the Association of Nigerian Authors. If anyone understands the challenges of writing and publishing in Nigeria, it is this gentleman who is the author of one of the most pirated books in Nigeria. Enjoy this. Thank you for joining us on Channels Book Club. Well, thank you. Nice to have you here. Um, it's my pleasure. Um, I mean, you are in the Association of Nigerian Authors um, as an executive member. Yes. You have written a number of books. You've been in the book publishing circles for many years. Um, there are many challenges facing Nigerian authors at the moment and also over the years. And some of these challenges have been there for quite a long time. One of them is piracy. And I'm bringing this up with you because I know that this is a book you've written and you've experienced a lot in that regard. Um, tell me a bit about your experience with piracy and your observation about that challenge for Nigerian authors generally. And then we'll come to some you know, other issues that affects Nigerian authors. Thank you very much. You see, when I really passed on the button and it was recommended for the secondary schools in Lagos, I thought I could just go to my publisher and then publish. I published about 10,000 copies at a go. 10,000 copies? copies, yes. Whoa. At a go. Then, but before my publication came into limelight, the books were already in the streets. Ajegunle, Muchin, Ikrodu, Ekwe, everywhere. Wow. So my salesman said they could not sell a single one after three days I've released the books to the market. We, the, the book was um, in the cu curriculum for Lagos State. Curriculum Legos for Lagos State. Right? Yes. Okay, so when that happens, um, you expect to see it in schools, used by students all yes. over the state. Is that, is that the usual to, thing? Yes, that's the usual thing. I expect to see it purchased by students and then used in schools. Okay. But mine was unique because Movida Press belongs to, was in my premises. Oh. And then there's no way this book can get out unless it's through Movida Press. So by the time I got it out, I knew, by the time I saw it everywhere, I knew they were not my copies because I've just released mine. You had already produced 10,000 copies. I've, I've already produced But before you got it out to the market. It was already in the market everywhere. How many, like, how many copies were, uh, is it correct to say, so I had, that you had about 200 and... It was more than 300,000 uh, copies. copies. Out there. Out there. Printed by pirates. Pirates. It, I didn't get these copies... Uh, on the, I went to schools to ask students to put up their books, the books they have. When my men were going around and they were going around, then they collected the figures of uh, books. The books were, the schools loved the book and then they, they purchased it. But even the teachers were telling me they didn't know that the people selling it to them were pirates. Pirated copies. Pirated copies. Let's put this. I went. Let me put it this way. I went to a bookshop in Nochodi, saw five cartons of my books, cartons that we have more than 200 copies each. I decided I want to buy it. I had my check. Then 
Immediately, I made the transaction. I went to police station, Mustafa police station. By the time I got there, I made my statement. The DPO came out and told me, the DPO came out and told me that uh, they cannot go to Ocho the market to fight those people because they overwhelm them, they will overwhelm them, that it doesn't have more than about a five or six policemen that you can use, that I should go to copyright people. I wrote to copyright people. Nigeria Cop Copyright Commission. Co yes, Copyright Commission. By the time I got there, I was told that uh, they had no facility to, to help me now. By the time I go back to Ochodi, the books were no more in that, uh, the books were no more in that uh, uh, shop. And they went to the police. So the idea of doing, of um, signing a check to buy the book was you wanted to trap them. Yes. You wanted evidence yes. that the police could use. Yes. Now let's put this in context. Um, a copy of this book is how much? Then a copy of the book, 500 naira. At that time? At that time. And you, you are saying about 300,000 copies have been pirated? Yes. So we are talking of... Um, how much is that? How much we, is that? We are talking about about 15 million. That's, that's, times, well, that's about 15 million yes. naira. Yes. Phew. That money could have come into your pocket. Yes. Now, this copy I'm holding now, is it, is it an original copy? It's not an original copy. This is a pirated it's copy. It's a pirated copy. But everything was there. Everything. It looks like, it looks very, it looks like an original copy. It looks original, but in fact, there are about five types of a pirated copy from five different uh, maybe press but this pirated whatever was uh, pirated was part of uh, the original ones i first of all printed out